You want to improve your fitness? Maybe you have had quite a break from doing much exercise and now you want to start building strength again? Without the need for weights or gym, you can do a great workout for your whole body. Let's do this 20 minutes full body hit session together. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Lena. Welcome to Sport Health Science. This channel is all about giving you training, knowledge and tools to help you to exercise more effectively and make healthy lifestyle choices so you feel stronger, healthier and happier. Today I've got a nice full body workout for you. It will help you to build a solid foundation and prepare you for more difficult workouts in the future. We will have 10 different exercises. We are going to do each exercise for 40 seconds, then you get a small rest for about 20 seconds while I'm going to show you the next one. After one round, you will have one minute of rest to drink some water and to recover until we start into the second round. Do a quick warm up, choose one from my videos or just do a brisk walk for about 10 minutes and then join me for the next 20 minutes. All right, let's start with the first exercise. So come into a shoulder width position. From here, sit back into a squat position. We continue with two side steps to one side and two to the other side. All right, are you ready? I will start the timer and we are going to train for 40 seconds and we are starting now so sit back two side steps to one side two to the other keep your back straight your shoulders are far away from your ears pull your belly button inside to engage your core and then two side steps do it in your rhythm and you decide how low you go the lower you go, the harder it is. Just try to find the right level for you. Our legs and glutes and the abductors are working. Five more seconds. Great. Relax, I will show you the next exercise. From here we go into the plank position. Lift one leg for, open up go to back again and change to the other side all right three seconds and ready to start plank position one straight line open up and rotate and change to the other side it's a nice mobilization exercise working on our flexibility twist up reach up Pull your belly button inside to keep your core engaged. And a big step forward. And back again. Last five seconds. Great. We come in back into the standing position. The next exercise will be a sumo squat. So we open the legs, squat down and come back up. You still have a small rest for about five seconds and then we start. Your feet are pointing out. Now, go down and up again. Breathe out, come up. You will decide again how low you want to go. The important part is that your knees are pointing in the same direction as your feet. You stay in a straight position, contract your center your core muscles. Keep on breathing regularly. You decide the speed, the rhythm. We're working on the adductors, the thighs and glutes. Well done. Rest your legs. The next exercise I'm going to show you. It's a little punch combo. So bend your legs. One, two, three, four. Go under go under one two three four okay so contracting your abs pull your belly button in and punch four small punches go under go under punch 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 go under go under so it's a nice full body exercise our legs are working arms and shoulders a little bit of coordination as well under under and punch 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 all right, come on, give me here some strength. Under and under and punch, punch, punch. Punch, punch, punch. 
you always keep your elbow a little bit bent so never stretch your arm full and well done next one is a reverse lunge you make a big step backwards 90 degree angle 90 degrees your knee is almost touching your floor but again you decide how low or how you go so this will be the exercise we're starting now go deep and up if you want use your arms up and down if you want a little bit of support you can always support yourself on your side to push yourself up that makes the whole exercise a bit easier and otherwise if you feel already good then you just stretch your arms up and come down again check your knee position the knee is pointing towards your toes it's nice coordination and balance exercise so you have to contract the core to keep the balance last one good come to the end of your mat I will show you the next exercise we are doing the inchworm we are crawling down forward hold one straight line position and then come back up relax your shoulders three two run ready to go go down one straight line contract your um, abdominals come back up stretch up do it in your rhythm you can bend your legs our arms have to hold our weight so it's a nice training for the arms shoulders but as well for the whole center as we want to stay in one straight line last one wait you have a small rest we continue on the floor with the swimmer so one straight line put your feet on the floor lift up your upper body and then stretch your arms come back bring your elbows next to your body stretch forward rotate ready let's go stretch and come back big circle it's a nice exercise for the lower back the glutes have are contracted as well pull your belly button inside your neck is in the extension to your spine keep on breathing regularly and the last seconds great from here come into the half plank position you can have your knees on the floor pull your belly button in hold this position this is enough but if you want more you can challenge yourself a little bit more by tapping to your shoulders ready let's do this one straight line either you hold this position in one line or if you want more tap with one hand the opposite shoulder try to keep your upper body still pull your belly button in in the direction of your spine your hands are underneath your shoulders and keep on breathing I know it's hard if you haven't done exercise for a while but step by step you will get back into it I promise last seconds well done from here turn around come onto the floor we continue with a bicycle crunch so lift up one knee and bring the elbow in the direction of the knee come back down change the side are you ready let's do this up and down breathe out come up it's a nice exercise for the abdominals and the obliques we're having a rotation here so our obliques have to work open your elbows have some space between your chin and your chest and do it in your rhythm breathe out coming up you 
almost got the first round. Great, last exercise for this first round. Standing position. From here, we do two side steps and cross back. Two side steps, side steps, cross back. If you want a little bit, to add a little bit of speed, you can make a little hop. Hop to the side, cross back. Ready? Hop to the side, cross back. Adding some coordination here with our arms. Big circle and cross back. You can do the same variation without the hop. And otherwise, hop, cross back, hop, cross back. Getting our heart rate a little bit up. Nice cardiovascular exercise. Coordination, balance, especially on this floor here. And the last ones. Great, well done. 60 seconds of rest. So have some water, relax your arms, your shoulders. The first run, the first round is done for now. Good job. Great, soon we're going to start the second round. And you decide, if you want to challenge yourself more, go a little bit deeper, have a little bit more range of emotion so that you do the movements a little bit bigger. So you can increase the, the intensity of the workout. You don't have always to put in jumps to make it really intense, even just by increasing the range of motion or exactly going a little bit lower, you have already a great, great method to, to increase the intensity. So if you're on a scale between zero and 10, oh, we're going to start. First exercise, two deep steps. If you're on a scale from zero to 10, if zero is sitting on a couch and 10 is like full exhaustion, you're giving really everything, I want you to train in between seven and eight. So I want you to challenge yourself a bit, okay? Two deep steps to the side. If you want, you can push your hands together. So we're activating our chest muscles as well. The pectoralis. Legs and glutes are working. If you want more, as I said before, bigger range of motion, go lower. Last three seconds. Great. Go into the plank position. You have 20 seconds of rest. In the plank position, we bring the right leg for rotate up and then the other side. Three, two, run, ready to go. Up, twist up and change. Big step up, step forward, rotate up and change. We're working here on our flexibility. Open up, hold the plank position. Try not to stick your bum out, but stay in one straight line. Your hands underneath your shoulders. And the last one. Good, 20 seconds of rest. You have time to get in the next position the sumo squat. We open the feet to the side from here, squatting down. You decide, maybe this is enough for you. Perfect, fine. But if you want more, you can go lower. So you decide. Let's start. Go low and up, low and up. Pull your belly button inside, the direction of the spine. If you want, push your hands together to activate the pectoralis. Keep on breathing regularly. We're working on our thighs, on our glutes, on the adductors. And the last one. You made it, great. 20 seconds of rest. Then we continue with our punch combo. So. Shoulder with position, bend your legs slightly. Strong fists, strong arms. 
Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Under, under. One, two, three, four. Go under and under. for you just imagine someone you want to punch hopefully not me one two one two three four and the last ones great well done relax your shoulders we continue with a reverse lunge remember big step back I can show it to you from the side as well you step back Knee is almost touching the floor, straight back. Your knee points in the direction of your foot. And from here, we change. Ready? Let's go. Deep and up. Remember, you can always use your hands to help you to do this big, deep step and push yourself up. If you want to challenge yourself more by lifting up the arms, we're adding some training, some balance training so that we can keep this position. Pull your belly button inside. Big step back. One. See, if you're not focused, it's difficult to hold the balance. Last one. Good, 20 seconds of rest. Get ready for the inch warm. You're going down, crawling forward, one straight line. I want you not to hyper extend, neither putting your butt out, but stay in one straight line, okay? Come back up. Let's start. Go down, one straight line, come back up. Lift up. Remember, Engaging the core, contract your glutes as well. Hold one straight line. It's a nice full body exercise. The more muscles work, the more calories we burn. So let's keep on doing this one more time. Great, we continue on the floor. Next exercise is the swimmer. So from here, put your feet in the ground, stretch your arms up, and from here we open the arms, bring your elbows close to your upper body, and stretch again. Let's go. Stretch, bend, stretch, bend. Breathe out, coming up. Remember, your head is an extension to your spine. Contract your glutes, pull your belly button inside, and then lift up the upper body. Last one, almost done. Great. Next exercise is a plank. And you decide if you want to do the shoulder touch. Important, not to do the plank like this, but bring your pelvis forward. Like this, we are really working effectively on the whole muscles of our core. Hands underneath your shoulders and ready to start. Tap, 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 tap. By lifting up one hand, we are making the exercise a bit more difficult. So you decide again, depending on your level, if you want to put both hands on the ground or lift up one hand alternating. Contract your glutes, pull your belly button inside, and keep on breathing. It's not much left, You've, you're almost there. So, last repetition, and great, that's it. We continue on the back with a bicycle crunch. Open your arms, elbows pointing out from here. Lifting up, bring 
knee and elbow together. And let's start. Lift up your shoulder from the ground. We're doing it slowly and controlled. Slow controlled movement. Breathe out when you come up. Breathe in, down. We're working on our midsection. I don't know what about you, but I'm definitely sweating. A nice full body workout. Come on, last one. Last exercise and you're done. Okay, standing up. We do the side to side, cross back, side to side, cross back. If you want more, add the arm circle. And even if you want to challenge you a little bit more, you can lift up your leg while crossing back. So side to side, lift up, side to side, lift up. Last exercise for today. Almost finished. Remember, you can always do the same without the hop in the middle. And that's it. Well done. So that was one of our beginner workouts. Try to stick to those for at least four to five weeks until you have a great foundation for more difficult workouts. I know it might be tempting to go directly for harder ones, but take it easy and first focus on how to execute the movements with perfect form because quality is much more important than quantity. Subscribe to the channel to get more content and feel free to comment in the box below if you liked it or if you have any other suggestions. Keep it healthy, stay committed and I'll see you in my next video.